We all know dosa and chapati is produced from the products grown in the soil. But there are few hidden secrets inside the soil which resembles dosa and chapati. Yes, it is all about soil structure. Let me explore the inner soil through dosa signs. By next few minutes I assure you that soil structure will be like eating laddu for all those who are watching. A soil structure. Soil structure refers to arrangement of soil particles like sand, silt and clay in a soil mass. There are two most important terminologies in soil structure. One is PID. They are the naturally formed aggregates. If it is artificially formed, then it is called a clod. A soil structure usually described in three categories, type, class and grade. In case of type, it refers to the shape of the PID and class refers to the size of a PID and grade tell all about the distinctness and durability of a PID. In competitive exam point of view, it is more important to be well versed in type of soil structure. These type of soil structure are of four types. The first is the plate like. In case of plate like structure, the horizontal axis is larger than the vertical axis. An example for it is chapati. In chapati, if you see, the horizontal axis is larger than a vertical. So chapati is the best example for plate like structure. They are divided into two types. The one is platy, another is laminar. In platy, the horizontal layers are thick and if they are thin, it is laminar. Considered a dosa and utapam, in case of dosa, the horizontal layers are thin and hence it is a laminar. Since in utapam, it is being thick, it is classified under platy. Yes, this forms a dosa signs. With the help of a dosa and utapam, we can see how the plate-like structure will be in case of soil. And the next more most important soil structure is a prism-like structure. Here, the vertical axis is more developed than the horizontal axis, giving a pillar-like shape. They are common in arid and semi-arid regions. They are of two kinds. When the top is rounded, the structure is columnar. If the top is flat, it is prismatic. The best example for prismatic structure is a chaco stick. Since their surface is flat, it is said to be the prismatic structure. And in case of columnar, it is kulfi, since the surface of the kulfi is being more or less in a rounded form. And hence kulfi and the chaco stick form a prism-like structure. And the third most important type is a block-like. Here, all the three dimensions are about same size. If the faces are flat, distinct, and the edges are sharp like a Cadbury dairy milk, it is angular blocky. When the faces and the edges are rounded like a gems, it is subangular blocky. And the last type is spear like. They are classified into two types. If the arrangement of soil particles are relatively less porous, like a bundi, it is granular, and if it is very porous like a sugar, it is grumpy. Friends, don't forget to eat, like, share, comment on Bodhi and subscribe to the Lead India Learn Agriculture. Thank you, Anandor.